Maybe they were eating. She might want a little snack. Oh, maybe not. Oh! And now they're not. I'm telling you, this stuff is the best. Yeah. This stuff is the best. Paper towel. It's gonna be tough, guys. They're all over the place here. Oh. These little parasites are jumping off the fish. I found that out the hard way. There's so many parasites in here that came off with our wash and with us messing with these fish. Check it out. Look here at the bottom. Let's see if I can scoop one for you. Let's catch them up. Woo with catch them all fishing with Zach. Ketchum. Look at this fish. Catch them up. Guys, I think I made a mistake. I didn't put these fish in with the other koi fish and I think by putting it with the largemouth bass, I might have overstepped because I knew that this largemouth bass had a couple parasites, but I didn't remove them because I didn't want to spook this largemouth, which looked fine. And now I think I made a mistake, guys. On top of that, my catfish have been more aggressive than I've ever seen them, and they're kind of attacking these giant, giant carp. So these guys are sitting right here in the corner. Check it out. But you can see that there's little a little bit of damage on them. You can see a couple of the marks on them, missing scales, stuff like that, even without the polarized lenses because they're so close here in the shallow water. But Shamu actually does have parasites on her too. So if they're getting beat up and these little parasites, which normally don't affect too much, you know, we've had them on koi before, we removed them and that was that. They're gone forever. Put a little bit of this stuff. It's called Syro Pro. This is like all natural, right? This stuff does great and it kills everything after you take them out, you know? So these koi fish just don't look so good. They don't look happy. They were eating and now they're not, which is a huge red flag. So what we're gonna have to do is we're not only gonna have to take out our koi fish, we're gonna have to take out the largemouth bass too. So the koi are right here. Come here. They don't wanna go next to the catfish. They do not wanna go next to the catfish, guys. This is a polarized lens that we use on the camera that does a, an okay job, but with the water lens, check this out. Look at these fish right here in the corner. Ridiculous. It makes such a ridiculous difference. It, it's insane. So I'm gonna put this lens on, guys. Check out the water lens though. These are some of the best glasses I've ever used of all time. And they are far less expensive than the expensive glasses I've bought. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I've tried every brand and now I'm stuck with these because they are the best. So check them out, link in the description below. Catch them 10 for the Waterland sunglasses. Don't forget guys. I have my other koi fish super healthy back there. I think that these guys are getting bullied just because of the way that this one fish stays in this corner. He stays in this corner, check him out. He just stays with me and he does not want to go over by the catfish. This is the one corner that the catfish do not go by. And even Shamu, Shamu's not getting messed up at all. I think it's because they're delicious. I don't know. I don't know why. I'm just gonna grab a couple, couple gallons of water, nothing crazy. I'm gonna fill this up. I'm gonna take off all of the little Shamu, Shamu nugs that have crawled onto these koi fish. I forgot exactly what they're called, but I know they're not good for the koi. They just irritate the koi. It's kind of like a lice. So. Just a little bit of water so they're good. And I'm gonna empty out the water after I get the lice off of the koi. But you actually have to do that yourself, which is a little bit annoying. So what you wanna do when you have this problem is grab like a butter knife. It can be a sharper knife too. The sharper the better, it's gotta be smooth though. So I just grabbed a butter knife and I have a very small tweezer, a very, very sharp tweezer, okay? So it's gonna be tough. We're gonna grab these koi fish, take them out, I'm gonna show you what to do with them. But I'm also gonna put a little bit of this inside the water just to slow down the parasites. Now this won't kill them immediately. This isn't like some crazy stuff, but it's all natural and it will slow down the parasites. So I'm gonna put a heavy dose in here. It only takes, a cap, a cap full of this stuff kills like everything. So a cap full of this is like, it treats like 50 gallons of water. So I just put in a, a lot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use half the bottle in here and half for the other koi. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hope that we can get rid of all these parasites. We also have to take Shamu out because she's the one that's spreading all these little parasites, which luckily don't go on to the red-tailed catfish or the hybrids because 
the hybrids and the red tails have like that sandpaper skin. These parasites only eat the fish's slime coat. Look at Shenmue right here. Look at her. One second. Before we harass her, I want to show you guys something. Before, <laughs> before we harass this animal, I want to show you guys something and why I was so hesitant to mess with those parasites on her back. She's in the darkness. Guys, we just witnessed that it was actually Shamu trying to mess with these koi. Look at this fish. This fish is a giant largemouth bass. That is a big fish, a very dominant fish. But for some reason, it's Shamu that's pushing these koi away. Remember, this koi was just in this corner, right? I was just telling you guys how this koi stayed in this corner. But I'm noticing that the other koi would go with the catfish. Shamu came to see what we were doing. And now the koi will not go in this corner. Look at this bass. So check this out. Check this out really quick. I've been training her. I've been training her. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. We got the old lizard. Look, look, look. Mouth open. Pissed. What the heck? Chasing around the koi. I was just going to give her a fat lizard. And look how the koi, the koi ran this way. The koi ran this way. Wow. So it's the largemouth bass. That is descaling our koi. I thought I thought it had to be our catfish. You know, when I put him in here, I didn't think anything of it. But now look, this guy is sitting right here by me. So Shamu is having at it with these gigantic koi fish. I don't feed, I have not fed Shamu any goldfish, anything like a koi fish. I mean, just bluegill and tilapia, but for some reason that giant largemouth bass is, is messing up these beautiful koi. That's ridiculous. So we're definitely gonna take out these koi fish, definitely. She's definitely honed in on the koi, but she might want a little snack. Hey, champ, check it out. Oh, she comes. There she comes, oh. How you feel about that? Too small for you? Oh, maybe not. Oh, nice! <laughs> I'm telling you, that was the first eat on camera, complete eat. And she is just hungry. She just wants to eat, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why she would be harassing these giant goldfish if I'm feeding her lizards and bluegill. That was the first lizard that she's eaten, guys. The first one that we are sharing together. The, the first one I gave to her, I, I got a little bit of a little clip, but she spit it out. This one, she just swallowed it down. What I got to do is I got to get these koi fish out. Let's take these koi out and hopefully Hopefully we can heal him up. Can't believe Shamu is so hungry. These guys, you got your pet fish. They're just like kids. They beat each other up. Somebody doesn't like somebody, get out of my room. Mm, 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 mm. One koi fish at a time. We're going to move them over there the easy way. Okay. And by the easy way, meaning hopefully we don't get our hand broken by these giant fish. I think I'm going to take out this guy first, the Jinrin, because he doesn't seem to be as messed up. Although his tail, ah, it's a little messy. All right, here he is. Come in this corner, nope. Look at Shamu, Shamu is literally like helping me hunt. That's the thing, when you spend so much time with these fish, they associate you like, they associate birds hunting for fish. They're like, oh, there's birds slapping the water. Let me go over there when my bird, which I am to the Shamu, is messing with these fish. It's seeing everything I put into this pond as a food source, so. Come here. Sorry, guy. Made you a food source. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That was the good thing about the Paku. Nothing can mess with the Paku. We kind of wanted the thrash to get any parasites off. And I don't think this fish has many parasites on it. Mm. Look at that thing. But look at how beat up this fish is. That's ridiculous. Look at the size of that fish. Okay. Oh, whoa. Whoa, relax. Relax, honey. Relax. We're going to get you all fixed up. Yeah, that is physical damage. That's from getting beat. I thought these were might have been parasites. I was a little bit worried to put them with the other fish. Oh my God, dude. No, this thing is getting beat. This thing is chewed up. Chewed man. up. That's scaleless, scaleless, scaleless. Let's flip you to the other side. Because oh. the parasites, look at it, scaleless, bro. Look at my poor baby. Look at that thing. So this guy actually is, oh look, 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 look. You can see right here. Koi actually have that same barb that the red tails have in certain places. Look at the barb. You can clearly see 
Look at that knife, serration. Can you see that? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, carp do too. I found that out the hard way in Louisiana, casting in them. Okay, relax, honey, relax, honey. I'm just checking you out for parasites, don't worry, don't worry. I know, I know, I know, honey, I know, honey. I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna give a little bit more water so we can stand up while I examine them. The only thing is that gives them more, gives them a little bit more power. Okay, honey. All right. Relax, relax, relax. Okay. I don't see any parasites on this fish. Now the other one, the other fish with the polarized lenses, I can actually see the parasites on the fins of that other larger koi. That's why I took this koi out first. But check out the fins right here. This was bit. This is definitely a hit. Yeah, this was a wise decision to remove this fish. Hit right here. The top of this fin chewed. Chewed, big chewed. What the heck, dude? Look at that thing. Look at how chewed that is. And a fish this big, you'd never think that. You'd never think that they'd have any issue. Look, you can actually see the scrapes. It, like it was, had the head in the mouth and just scraped out. I'm so sorry, honey. I love you. I should have just put you with the other koi, and I didn't, and I'm stupid, but it was worth a try. It really wasn't worth a try, but I tried. <laughs> Guys, we really took our time to examine this fish. Flipped it on both sides one more time. Check the belly. One thing I don't think we recorded. The belly. <laughs> yeah, she's ready to go into the other pond, and now I think I'm just going to baby her over there. I think I'll be able to do that. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A little slimy. But you do what you gotta do. Come on. You want me to get in front of you? Yeah. Huh? There we go. There we are, honey. All right. Same water. Not bad. Yeah, we should have just always kept them in there. I forget how big this actually is. This is such a big pond. This is like a 10 foot space. Even though they're large koi, there's still so much space in here. So now that koi fish is big, but it really doesn't dwarf everyone like I thought it was going to. You know what I mean? These fish in here are actually much larger than they look. Beautiful. He's gonna look great in here. Yeah, look, look how big our orange guy has grown. We've grazed that thing up from about eight inches amazing all right cool so we're gonna get his friend in there we're gonna leave this open so we can football him too but i know for a fact that guy i could see with my water lane glasses through the water that i could see the parasites on this guy's right right fin so for pectoral fins we're gonna go check it out a little bit slimy nice and early in the morning but i think this koi does have a little bit of the sham rubbing so i think they got close to shamu because i was always feeding them over there by Shamu, Shamu's little station. You could see Shamu over here. Come a little closer, come a little closer. You don't got the water lands on the camera. Shamu's right over there in the corner, chilling. See her? That's like her domain. No, you don't see her? God damn, I need to get these. A water land, please, please make a lens for the camera. We, we need you, we need you. Okay, check it out. Get real close then. You could see her right here though, right? <laughs> there she is. <laughs> there she is. It's tough still. You're right there. When, especially when there's overcast. I'm telling you, we're going to get a water lens, lens for the camera, guys. One way or another, we're going to do it. But Shamu's right there in the corner, and that's where I would feed our koi fish. And they were eating just fine right off the surface. The same day, even, that I got them. And psh, whatever. I guess Shamu didn't like him always being in that corner and started beating the crap out of him. So. I'm gonna get this other koi out. Don't worry, honey. We're getting you away from the big bad wolf, which is Shamu. Come on. It's awesome though, how quickly this bass just lost all fear, you know? Just follows me around, doesn't know what's going on. He's like, hey, what are we eating? What are we eating? We're on the same team. Come on, Mr. Koi. Let's see, see how you're looking. Cause I, this koi would, right next to Shamu. The other koi, as you guys saw, would hang out with those red tails a lot more. And this was the one closer to that largemouth bass. That's a big one. Oh, no, 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 no. 
let him kick around in the water a little bit. Man. Okay. Flip or die. Flip or die. Okay. That's a big one. That's man. a big boy. A little bit bigger than the other boy. A little bit bigger. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Now, check this out. Where it splashes us. Luckily, we were able to use the same water. Thought we were gonna have to change the water out. But since that last koi fish really didn't have any parasites at all, which was crazy to me, while well, this one does, check it out. We didn't have to get rid of the parasites. So, one, one step at a time. Look at this, right here. Let me know you can see that. There's three of them. them. You can see them? Yeah, and they're moving. Ew. Boom, just like that. Get some, pa some paper towel. It's gonna be tough, guys. They're all over the place here. They're all over the place here. They move, they swim, they swim. They swim, see that little dot? Right, hold on. Let's see what you can do, camera man. Yeah, you got it right there. That little dot is a parasite. It's a devil! So <laughs> this koi is covered in them. The other koi had zero, zero. But this was the fish that was hanging around Shimu. So, the different pigment, this had no pigment change. I wonder if that's just from the stress of getting beat up by Shimu. Because look, look at the scale factor. That's terrible when that happens. The koi partner's gonna be so mad at me. They're gonna be like, what are you doing? Tormenting our fish, but hey, I got some monster fish, guys. I, we're learning together. So right here, look at that, just beat up. Oh! Oh my God. Where are the tweezers at? You lost them? I might have oh, lost no, them right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Those are the wrist breakers I was talking about. Look at that splash. Relax, honey. Relax, honey, go back on your side. Oh, oh that, thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's try again. Hopefully we don't lose our tweezers. That thing almost got sent 100 yards. Come here, honey. Relax. Come here, honey. So, these are not parasites. Normally they're on the fins. That one right here? Hold on. Parasite right there. Nope, pigment. See pigment? It's tough to distinguish. That's so weird, it's like she has chicken pox. Yeah. Relax, relax, honey. Oh but I do see parasites on the fins. Just put more water, which makes it more difficult to deal with. Let's see the tail. It's gonna slow down eventually. Tail got chewed. Can't believe Shamu. It's so aggressive like that. Okay. I need to get to your pectorals, honey. Understand? Okay, relax, please. Please, just for a second. The good thing is that these parasites are getting all delirious because of what's on here and they're actually swimming off of this fish trying to find a, a way to get away from here. So, even if that last fish did have parasites, the parasites are getting pissed with this all natural stuff. This is not a, an ad, this is just a great stuff that works that I've used before, so. Let's see. Where is that? Pictorial. I know I saw them here. But oh, it looks like side? I'm gonna check. Just wanna really thoroughly make sure this fish doesn't bring those parasites over to the other fish. They're not microscopic guys, you can visually see them. They give this guy a flip. Okay. Here we go. Here's a bunch of them right here. See him? Oh. Come here, come here. Come here. Okay. Right here. Right here. See that? Yeah, I do. Just slow you down. Hold on. Hold on, honey. Relax. Relax. You're underwater. You're good. You're breathing. Right here. Two for one. Two for one special. Look at that nastiness. They're so weird. They look like little flounder. Now you can really see these, these are bigger guys. That's like medium size right here. Isn't that disgusting? You. That's so nasty. I wanna get them off my thing. <laughs> Go onto the ground and to the gulag where they belong. Nope. Relax, relax, honey. Relax, honey. You can see the damage to this fish from Shamu all over the place. This is a hard hit. It's like, That's crazy. It's tough, yeah. 
I mean, these fish battle. In the wild, they battle. These are bred for cat captivity, like a house cat or a, a dog, but I mean, in the wild, you gotta fend for yourself. And this is the wild right here. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you catch a lot of koi in the wild too, well we do, but these guys, we're not bred for it. So, we did what we needed to do, I think. I think we're covered. Check under there. Not as many parasites as I thought. Is that one on the gill or that pigment? It looks like one. Pigment. Really? Yep, pigment. 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 Right here. Pigment. You gotta really check every little nook and cranny. Really not too many, not too many. Fished it a lot better than I thought. And like I said before, we did put a lot of this like a uh, parasite healing stuff in here. So, you know, you, if they are on them, they tend to drop off here and there while the fish is struggling, while we're moving them around. That's also why I'm lifting the fish up. Just doing as kind of as much as I can without moving too much slime coat, but still getting these parasites out every chance I can. So I've been kind of letting this fish sit in here, taking my time an extra five minutes so this fish can really just get this stuff all over its body and have like an instant cure kind of thing. Even though that's not really how it works, kind of like have to leave it overnight and stuff like that and put more and more, but it does help because it is all natural and it won't hurt the fish. So we're gonna let this guy chill for another couple minutes and then we're gonna move him over to the bigger pond. All right, honey, you ready to go? You ready? I'm sorry, baby, I love you. I love you guys. I posted a survey to pick a name just so you guys know. Uh, let's see. If you guys want to post a comment below the survey, I will definitely take that into mind when we pick the name of this monster fish. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh no! Oh sweet! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Da, 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 da. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> uh. It's okay, baby. It's okay, honey. I'm supporting your weight. You can lay on my chest, baby. I love you. No! No! <laughs> no! 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 All right, baby. Oh God! Big fish. Big beautiful fish. Now. I was not going to remove the parasites off the Shemu. She has no lesions, no red marks. She's not battling with anyone. And the red tail catfish are not affected. But I think I'm going to remove them and just get it out of the way. We'll be able to retrain Shemu. She'll realize that when we're messing with her, she's going to be good. I really just didn't want to associate eating with us scooping her out and messing around. But these guys look great. What I'm going to do. So I'm gonna put a couple of those doses of the parasite formula in here, which I don't think I need to, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just to make sure the rest of the fish are safe. I am a little bit worried about this. I normally definitely don't wanna mix fish like this, but this is the only pond that I have that's big enough for these larger fish. <laughs> Relax guys, there's no one's gonna chew on you in here. I hope, I hope. And now all of a sudden the arowanas go rogue. Let's go heal Shamu. There's so many parasites in here that came off with our wash and with us messing with these fish. Check it out. Look here at the bottom. Let's see if I can scoop one for you. They're really hard to see. They're almost transparent. Where'd they go? There, here's one. Here's one I can clearly see. Hold on. Hey. Got him. Wow. Check this out. Sushi's not safe for me, my boy. Sushi no sushi. That's why you gotta make sure you get all your fish from an sushi fried sushi i don't know i'm talking stuff i'm talking trash so this this chemical wash worked so that's a good thing we're going to dump this out before we treat shamu lucky they can't survive on humans oh my god he's swimming yeah ew creepy there's ah! <laughs> you saw him you saw him get on my finger there's so many no you're parasite no. i don't know what i'm saying but yeah run away ah, no <laughs> fresh water just for you baby girl oh my god there were so many in here, guys. They're really tough to see, but like, <laughs> it was pretty disgusting. Pretty freaking disgusting. Okay, that should be enough, but you know what? 
I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit more. It's, it's I'm, telling you, I'm telling you, this stuff is the best. This stuff is the best. I know Shamu has a ton of them on her, that's why I'm using so much. And I'm telling you guys, this whatever this stuff is, appreciate you for making it. Let's get Sham Sham. All right. Come on, honey. You think she'll go airborne? I hope not. Come on, baby. She's a scout. A scout. She has a scout. Hopefully <laughs> the parasites didn't escape because she was doing all that. Okay, where'd you go? She's no longer going to like this net. Ah, not good. I'm trying not to get her deep in the net. If you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> Might have to use the entirety of the net. Come on, Sam. Sorry. Sorry, honey. I'm sorry. Don't get too pissed. All right. All right, she's in. Thing is, it's going crazy like that. Wow, she's so Those good. demons will fall off, and I don't want them to fall off in the pond. So we gotta redo that. Okay? Stay right there, honey. Stay right there. I know you will fly. <laughs> Gotta get everything. When a fish jumps out, what you really want to be careful of is that the fish does not hit their head. So the rest of their body, they're pretty hardy. I mean, you could almost chop a fish in half and they'll usually come back to life after a while. But when a fish hits its head, for some reason that just knocks it out. I'm telling you, that's why you see dolphins slapping fish with their tail and the fish is just stunned and they slurp them up. It actually works if you just punch a fish in the head, they will get knocked out. So, <laughs> yeah, trust me, trust me. So, what I'm trying to do right here is not let this fish's head hit the ground. Do not want you to get hurt. I'll let you just soak here for a while, relax. And I'm gonna try to pick off these parasites because I know they're on her, even though I do not see many right now. When I, that she had a bunch of them, right on the top of her head. We caught a couple wild koi and I've had to pick off the parasites. Even off camera, I've done this with almost every wild koi we've caught. So even if I did introduce it to the pond at first, I had to take them out and pluck every wild koi. So I've seen this stuff before and I know that this stuff works because we still have the koi to this day, especially that big orange one. So I know it'll work. It's definitely on koi. I'm hoping that it also works on largemouth bass. I don't see why it wouldn't. This is a giant fish. It's a giant fish. Relax, just waste all your energy. If they slam into here, doesn't matter. It'll give, and if you slam your head into something this soft, it's not gonna hurt you. Okay, just relax, honey. I can't believe that this fish was messing with our koi like that. It's crazy. Okay, just gonna keep her right here in this bath. She likes it, she's like, oh yes, I'm in the bath, right? Ooh, enjoy yourself. She's pretty trustworthy of me now. It's been a few weeks that it's just been her, her and I sitting beside the pool, eating some lizards and some, uh, we're actually watching lizards run across the water, really frustrating, <laughs> until today, and eating some bluegill. Let's see, see how you're doing, honey. See how you're doing. It's tougher to see them, the parasites on this type of fish, obviously, because of the pigment. So this fish's coloration, being green, makes those parasites super hard to spot. But I know I saw them, have my water lens sunglasses on, and I definitely saw those fish, I mean those parasites on this fish. But this fish was thrashed, here's one. Look at that, how am I supposed to see that? There's one right here, there's no way. I only see it because he's out of the water. Look at that thing, look, bomb. How much? <laughs> you can barely see it. It looks like it's designed to be invisible. That's crazy. And now you're designed for the gulag. <laughs> <laughs> but now I gotta really search this fish really hardcore. This is a big largemouth bass. Oh, it's so beautiful. Nine pounder. What a big fish, man. I know. Hopefully she doesn't go for the sky. Relax, honey. Relax. Relax, baby girl. 
relax. Just ridiculous. So I gotta really take this fish out to see the physical bumps. That's what's really annoying about catching the parasites on a fish like this. With the mango colored koi, I can literally see them from outer space with the glasses on. Here's some. Wait, no, it's not. Just a bump. <laughs> just a just a bass pimple. But like I said before, if they're gonna be on them, they're normally on the on the fins. Come here, honey, let's see. And the tail. That one? Hold on, let me see if there's one. The Hold, on, one. Hold on, Shim. Hold on, Shim. I know you don't like me messing with your tail. Hold on. <laughs> it is creepy. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it is creepy. No, that's a bump. Is that one? Nope. See, other side, same bump, no, dude, you got one, this chemical wash is taking them all off, I'm putting them in this super toxic stuff for them, but it's not toxic for the fish, you can see this fish is fine, still breathing fine, and these, these little parasites are jumping off the fish, I'm telling you, I could clearly and visibly see every single one of these things with the water lands when I got up close in this clear pond. I could see them. I could see them. And now, only the strongest are holding on to these fish. So, make sure you're good. Come on, taking my time. Let's look at the size of this large mouth. It's <laughs> so big. Look at this thing. Look at that. <laughs> look at that, that is a mongoloid. Relax. Behaving good too. Yeah. What's also good is you put so much of this stuff, it kind of slows them down. But I don't see, I don't see any of these things. Not even on the pectorals, is that one? Here's one. Here's one. Ew. Demon of the night! That's why you really gotta check, you gotta check deep. Really annoying. That's not one. Let me check your other pectoral, girl. Let me check your other pectoral. We're gonna be best friends, baby. We're gonna be best friends forever. And I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna, gonna kiss you. <laughs> and I'm not gonna say rip. Because of W. You stay away from my mommy who likes to kill all my fish. <laughs> That's been there since I had it. It's like a birthmark almost. Look, soft here. Yeah. It's weird. But. I think we're almost done, honey. Then you can relax. I do not see any, not even on the peck. And the pectorals, when you always find them there. Always pectorals on the dorsals, sometimes on the top fin, on the tail, the booty holos. No, I'm kidding. But, but yeah, she looks pretty good, guys. I think we're good. I'm gonna let her sit here for another few minutes. I'm gonna put it right back in the pond. All right, she's been chilling in here for a while. Been chilling. Relax, my baby. Relax, my honey, baby. Ah. Relax. Look at the size of that. Whoa, 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 whoa! She's been chilling. But like I said, this doesn't affect them. This stuff does not affect them. It just takes off. What does it take off? Disease is like anchor worm fish lice, and it won't negatively impact the biological action of the fish. Good stuff here. Good stuff here. If I ever made that, appreciate you. Giant fish. I really don't want to get in her mouth because that'll piss her off a lot. Despite popular belief, as she splashes everything beneath me. Come on. Yeah. Quick feet. Quick feet. Oh, oh. Okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Want to show you off? Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right, honey. Okay, that's the end of that, guys. That was really tough. Stuff happens. You just gotta really spend time with your fish, guys. I actually went out of town for two days. 
came back, saw this, I was like, gotta get to work. So we started this super early in the morning today before the sun even really got up. And now we are able to stop the problem before it got too out of control. Now this thing is absolutely full of those little parasites. And now the gulag is full of parasites. So with a couple simple tools, we were able to take care of that problem and being aware of our surroundings and what's happening to our creatures right here behind us. So, like I said, even if you're a fish keeper at home, the Catch'em 10 sunglasses, I'm telling you, Catch'em 10 for 10% off of the Waterland sunglasses, guys. This will help you see your fish. I was able to spot that problem only because I have the best of the best on my eyes and on my chest. <laughs> guys, stay tuned for the next episode, guys. Waterland sunglasses, the link in the description below. These fish are fine. We're gonna heal them. We're gonna figure this out, guys. We always do. Stay tuned and catch them all. Catch them all. Woo!